Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sis D. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yah. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information or food for thought, and sometimes they are correction or forewarning. And today's message, dun, dun, dun. Sorry, y'all. This is a little bit of correction, but I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord. Okay? So, y'all hang in there with me. I hope and pray y'all are not super triggered by the topic. But if so, let's di- let's dialogue. Let's ha- have a discussion about it. Let's talk about it. Alright? So, I'm going to dive on in. Let me first start by saying, how y'all doing? Are y'all doing alright? I hope and pray to the most high, y'all, that things are going well with you all and that your day is going incredibly well. So, now, This month being February 2023, most people take it as Black History Month. I totally disagree because you can't cram the whole civilization of the original people of this earth into one month. And I'll go into that a little bit more in a later topic, but let me just start with the whole notion of Black History Month is a lie. Boom. Yep, Sis D said it, and probably a whole bunch of others, but I'm going to say it. For those of you who are, who are up under the sound of my sweet, melodious voice, okay? So, this topic is going out to my sisters. If you have any connection to any kind of melanation, this belongs to you. Um, sorry, sisters, but I'm going to share this message with you, all right? So the topic for today, I hope y'all are ready, hope y'all are ready, hope y'all are ready, ready for it? Black women, and when I say black women, I don't mean just, i.e. you look like me, if you are First Nations Indigenous, if you are Latino, Hispanic, Afro, Cuban, Afro, Caribbean, when I say black women, if your family comes out of any of the captivities, i.e. slaveries, I'm talking to you today, okay? All right, so black women, black ladies, stop lying to y'all selves. Stop lying to yourselves. Let's get into it, right? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. When you say, as a black woman, I don't need no man to help me, lies. 100% cat. Let's get into it, shall we? So, what I mean by that's all cap, because it is. Do you want children? If you want children, guess what? You need a man, because without the man, there are no asexual human beings that are bipedal, that are mammals. There's no asexual ones that I know of, and I did fairly well in the sciences. Yes, I did. So, if there's a mammal that's bipedal, that's a greater ape <laughs> or a greater mammal. Let's put it like that. That's asexual. Y'all let me know about it, okay? Because I don't know none about it. I don't know nothing. So if you talk about you want children, you need a man because you need his seed. That's what. If you don't want that man, i.e. relationship, you still need a man because guess what? You go into a sperm bank and get some seed from some man Even if you might not know him, maybe you paid for his seed of life. (laughs) But you still need a man, some man. So please, stop the lies. Please, ladies, let's stop it. You do need a man. Two, okay, you say, I don't want to be in a relationship. Okay, I didn't miss the boat and I done went and had these children out of a wedlock union. Okay, whatever, that's you. We know you needed a man for the seed. Two, if you say you don't want to be in a relationship, but you don't need a man, I would then say, are you on any kind of government aid? Are you receiving housing, medical, food, any kind of med- government assistance? If you are, you still need a man. You don't see that man. You might not know that man, but you need a man because the man you are specifically, let's get it clear. The man you are specifically relying on is Uncle Sam. That's still a man. That's still the elites that run this world. So, yes, you still need a man, too. You just don't know that man, i.e. personally. Yeah, so you need a man. Three, can we talk about protection? I I believe that every American anywhere in the world, let's go global, 
If you desire to protect yourself and you want to bear arms, we have it in our constitution, even though it's a lie, but I'll get into it another time. If you desire to protect yourself and you want to have firearm, it's great to protect yourself as a female. I think it is wise. However, what about if you get attacked and you're not, your firearm is not by you? If you're in the parking lot. And you would stay for a late night movie and you're walking out and you don't have anything and you haven't taken any self-defense. Th then what? What, what you going to do? If, if you don't have it in your purse, on your person, then what you going to do? But if you have a priest, a banner over you, and that person is generally going to be with you, especially when you're going out socially, your partner is generally going to be with you. I have a king and usually wherever I am, he's not too far behind. And I'm not saying that like everything is perfect because it's not. We know that about relationships, but to some degree, I have a male head that's watching out for me. Even something simple as if I'm crossing the street, I have neck and back issues sometimes. If I turn my head wrong and I didn't see a car, he's going to be like, uh, uh, you just missed a car. Simple things like that. Okay, now let's dive into one more thing before I let y'all go. We top covered the topic of if you want children, you still need a man. If you're getting any government aid or assistance, you still need a man because you, you rely on that man every month. If you uh, need protection and you are trying to self-protect, but that ain't going so great for you for whatever reason, you still need a man to cover you, protect, and to be a protection, i.e. the male lion protects the lioness and the rest of the pride. Okay, leave that as an example. Let me wrap up with this. What other nation, and I'm black ladies, let's not be triggered, but let's think about this logically, okay? Not emotionally, not with our feelings. What other nation of women say, I don't need my man. I don't need any man in my community. I don't need my man in my nation. Do, um... Do Middle Eastern women, so-called Ishmaelites, Hagarites, do they say it? Middle Eastern women, do they say that? Absolutely not. Those women are trained from a very young age. You going to have a husband because so you can bear some more kids so we can. Okay, so do Asian women in the Asian community, whether you consider them Moabites, Ammonites, all of the Southeast Asian women. Do, do they say, oh, we don't need Asian men, Chinese, Japanese, Malay, Thai, Taiwanese, all y'all Asian people. Do Asian women run around here on social media talking about, I don't need no Asian man. Absolutely not. Do Jewish women out of the ish click, the converts, do they say, oh, I don't need. These are very closed communities generally. And they only intermarry into, generally, I'm not talking about, so generally, they only marry into their communities to keep the lineages strong. So no other woman in any other nation is running around here talking about, I don't need my man. I don't need a man out of my community. It is foolishness. It is sheer foolishness. And we need to stop and self-examine. I've talked to y'all uh, b beforehand about the Willie Lynch letters and how that was written 1712. I don't care what anybody says, go back and read that book because if they say it is a hoax, why is it then still, we're still experiencing the same effects of it to this day, 1712 to 2023. And the same effects are still happening to this day. 400 plus years later. And if you take it before that, when the first captivities happened, when they started enslaving my blood relatives, because I have First Nation blood in my body, my bloodline, 1491 or there about 1491 and 1492 is when they started enslaving First Nations people. So 1491 or 92 to 2023, y'all do the math on that. Mm. So y'all, let's stop and let's think about it. We got to trans, be ye transformed by the renewing, renewing, get a new thought process. Stop speaking in ill, unwise manners. 
We have to get back to our men. Our great grandmothers did it. Married at 1920 and started having children. My grandmother did it on both sides. Uh, mothers did it. We have pictures in our family where there are four and five. There's still now in my family at least four living blood lineages of women that have all done the same thing. And for the most part, stayed in our own community. Because that's what we were trained and taught to do. And then you see these successful unions where you go off, you get married, you begin to build, you get your house, you start having your children, you then begin to start pouring into society, whether you adopt uh, um, children in, that need homes, have an auntie that's adopted six kids, seven kids, she's got 12 kids all together. The bulk of those are adopted. So that's, we have to be you transformed by the renewing of your, we have to change her. We have to get back to the understanding of we were chained, and I'm talking about the African side coming in, not the copper colored people that were already here. For those of you who know you have African ancestry, which comes off my paternal side, if you have African ancestry, guess what? I speak this because that is me too. We came in this mud chained. We only going to get out with our men. We came chained to our men brought into this mofo. And the only way we going to get out of this mofo is with our men free. They are our messiahs. The black man is our modern day messiah. Everybody knows about us. Everybody knows it but us black women. And we better get our minds right. A time is coming, and I've said it before, a time is coming. And I hate to sound fussy because it's not. It literally is passion. But a time is coming, ladies, where I feel very, very bad for you single mothers that have multiple children. And if your children are babies, a time is coming. That book of Eli thing is closer than y'all think. And y'all are going to be easy prey for the pickings. Easy prey for the pickings. So... Y'all better get your mind right. You better get your mind right. You better have a come to sweet black Yeshua moment and figure out how you can get you a Lord, how you can get you a king, how you can get you a banner. You better figure it out, ladies. Anyway, I'm going to stop right there. I hope that you guys were able to glean a couple of nuggets from this message on today. I do greatly appreciate you taking time to spend with Sis D on today. I am always always humbled and honored anytime I come before you guys because you don't have to stop and take time to listen to me as a messenger so I definitely do greatly appreciate it to the deep lightful family to the vibe up y'all tribe I see y'all I see y'all may the most high be with you bless you and keep you as we go into the furtherance of our day and on to the end or conclusion of our week May the most high be with you, bless you, and keep you. And I'm going to close on out like I generally always do by saying vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This, sis, D, and I am out.